Hey everybody, it's Jasmine and I'm back with another video about how to teach, travel, and explore with the International TEFL Academy. Yes, you can teach and travel and make money online, but you need certification first. So I'm going to go over eight frequently asked questions about teaching English online. Okay, so are you looking for the ultimate side gig that enables you to make money from anywhere in the world, including the safety and comfort of your own home? Do you want to have a job that allows you to earn a sustainable salary while living a nomadic lifestyle moving from country to country? Because that's my plan. I'm going to Mexico. What about making a difference or South America? What about making a difference in the lives of others and connecting with people from all over the globe? Well, here are some of the questions that people ask. So is teaching English online legit? Well, in today's world, especially now, in a digitally connected world where 1.5 billion English learners seek to connect with native speaking instructors in countries like the United States, Canada, and the United Kingdom, teaching English online offers incredible opportunities to English speakers of all backgrounds. So as you can see that they're looking for native English speakers to teach these classes. This is an in-demand job that you can do from anywhere in the world. So online learning is a vast field and here to stay as an integral part of education and as business. From world-class universities to Fortune 500 companies, computer, mobile, and internet-based training have become an integral part of nearly all education fields, including English as a Second Language, or ESL. In fact, according to Forbes, research and markets forecast e-learning revenue generated globally will reach $325 billion by 2025. That means that they are looking for teachers, these jobs are in demand, and they're looking for native English speakers. They have the money for it. In recent years, teaching English online to speakers of other languages worldwide has grown exponentially, especially now, and shows no signs of slowing down. So is teaching English online a good job? The excellent news for virtually any English speaker is that you don't need a background in education or professional experience to get started as an online English teacher. And that teaching English or ESL online offers flexible hours that can work from home or while traveling domestically or internationally. So to learn more, here are some answers to basic questions about the exciting field of teaching English online. So some key takeaways, you might want to make note of this. The field of teaching English online is enormous and fast growing, offering many opportunities. So they are looking for people. This is an in-demand job you can do anywhere. You don't need prior teaching experience or even a college degree to teach online, but you should get a TEFL certification. Now they do say you don't need a college degree, but I've heard of other people you get offered more money if you do have a degree. So if you do have one, great. If you don't, that's still great. You just need certification from a accredited academy that teaches English as a foreign language. Teaching English online also offers convenience and flexibility, and you can do it from anywhere in the world as long as you have a strong internet connection. So make note of that. You really need a strong internet connection and a good laptop or a Chromebook to teach English online if you travel around the world. So what exactly is teaching English online? Teaching English online is teaching English as a foreign language to non-native English speakers over the internet through a computer and a webcam. Students can learn one-on-one -on -one or in a small group, and the cost is usually relatively cheaper than in-person face-to-face ESL classes. So what that means is, a native English speaker like myself, I'm from the United States, would teach somebody, let's say in South America or Mexico, how to teach in, or how to speak English. In many cases, both students and teachers can set their class times and schedules, and the teacher can teach from whatever location is convenient to them. In other instances, schedules may be set by a school or university. All types of education institutions offer online English classes, including grade schools, online teaching platforms, and even corporations. 
Individual students may also hire online English teachers as independent contractors or as private tutors. So um, there's an online starter kit that you can click on when you go through uh, the link down in the description box below. That'll take you to the sign up process and you can download all your forms there. So frequently asked question number two, is teaching English online a legitimate job or career? Yes, it is. I know several people that do it, and I'm about to do it as soon as the world opens back up. But to answer the question worldwide, the demand for online education has boomed in recent years as increased internet access and new technology have provided new opportunities for students, teachers, and schools. Online English language instruction in particular has seen significant growth according to USA Today by 2019. A single online teaching company such as VIP Kid alone employed 70,000 teachers to provide online English lessons to more than 600,000 students, mainly Chinese. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. There are hundreds of companies and schools offering English classes to millions of students and hiring thousands of instructors to teach them. With the onset of COVID-19, the demand for online instruction has surged even higher. So this is the time now. Get your certification. As people increasingly look for opportunities to work remotely, teaching English online is a legitimate career job, career opportunity. Teaching ESL online is also an excellent career option for those who are teaching English abroad to get side work and to work full time while living overseas or traveling. So here's an example of what your background look like if you're teaching uh, or tutoring students like younger grade school students. Okay, so frequently asked question number three. Teach English online versus teach English in person. So what's the difference? Well, many students ask us, can I teach English online? And is teaching English online easy? While teaching English offers great benefits like increased mobility and flexible schedules that are great for achieving work-life balance, it also presents unique challenges compared to teaching English in person. Student engagement, lesson planning, and tools and new technology like digital props with all will all be different when teaching English online versus teaching English face-to-face. -face. For teachers with extensive in-person classroom experience, this means you will need to adjust your teaching practice and approach to a certain degree. Here are some of the critical advantages of teaching English online versus teaching ESL in a classroom setting. Number one, mobility. And this is a key. You can travel while teaching English online anywhere and move from place to place without interrupting your ability to earn a good salary. So what this means is I can be on a beach in Cancun in five minutes after teaching one of my classes. You can literally work anywhere in the world. As long as you have a strong internet connection and a suitable space with an appropriate backdrop, you can teach English from virtually anywhere. In recent years, Many ITA graduates have been country hopping their way around the world while earning a steady salary teaching English online. Teach from the safety and comfort of home. On the flip side, you can also teach English online from home. Online English teaching not only provides opportunities to make home as a full-time job or a part-time gig, at the same time, you can work another job or go to school but during the coronavirus pandemic, thousands of English teachers have been able to earn a good salary safely at home during perilous economic times. Flexible scheduling. In most cases, you will have more control over your daily and weekly schedule teaching ESL online than teaching English in a classroom. Not only can you work full-time or part-time, but you can set hours according to your schedule. You can also gain professional experience in the field of e-learning, one of the fastest growing areas in education, both in the United States and abroad. If you're planning to teach English abroad, you can gain valuable teaching experience and make startup cash before you head overseas, which is what I'm currently doing. You can teach ESL online to make a positive impact on people's lives and to make some money at the same time. You can also interact with people from all over the world and have the opportunity to build relationships with students and teach them a skill that will set them up for a successful future.
and here's one of the very funny animated teachers. So you see you have different props to teach the kids. So number four, what are the requirements to teach English online? Given the vast breadth of the TEO field, requirements will vary widely by employer. But here are some standards, standards that many of the top online teaching companies look for. Number one is they look for a TFL certification. You don't need prior teaching experience or university degree to teach English online. Still, employers and students want to hire trained teachers with skills in standard teaching methodologies and best practices. This is why most, though not all major online teaching companies, do require an accredited TFL certification like the ones that's offered at the International TEFL Academy. A bachelor's degree. This requirement varies by employer. Indeed, many of the biggest companies do require a four-year degree. Still, there are certainly ample opportunities for those without a degree. And I'm going to go over in a future video the 10 companies that let you teach online without a degree. Speak English fluently. This may seem obvious, but a high percentage of English instructors worldwide are not native or even fluent speakers. Hence, many companies prefer to employ native speakers, and many students seek them out because they are keen to improve their conversational skills and want to be exposed to the accent and speed used by native speakers. With that said, you can still teach English as a non-native English speaker if you have fluency and qualifications. So they will accept people that do speak English, but they prefer native speakers. So I think the people from the United States the UK, I think some parts of Canada, maybe Australia, we have an advantage over other people. Number five, and this is a very important, especially if you plan on living or considering this as part of your income. How much money can I make teaching English online? Pay for online English instructors, instructors varies. But first-time teachers can typically expect to earn an average salary of 10 to 20 U.S. dollars per hour, which is not bad if you are working somewhere like, uh, let's say, Mexico, where there you would be using pesos, but you get paid in U.S. dollars. So the conversion rate, um, that's really good. Like you'll be getting paid in American dollars, but you'll be living in a in an area where they accept pesos, Mexican pesos. Most major online education companies use sliding scales based on factors like reviews and the number of teaching hours to provide incentives for salary increases and bonuses. Bear in mind that teachers are paid by the lesson, which is often between 20 to 30 minutes rather than an hour, so expect to be paid six to ten dollars per lesson at first. And there's another brochure to see what several major online teaching companies pay for salaries. And you know what? That's important. So let me click this link. So you can get an idea of what you can make in specific countries. Okay, so this is the chart again. I'm going to link it down below so you can get an idea. So back to the questions. Okay, so a significant benefit of teaching English online is the flexibility. You can teach as a side gig for an hour or two per day and make $100 to $200 per week. Now, in the United States, that doesn't seem like a lot, but in other countries like South America, China, Mexico, you know, that's, that's decent spending money. Like for some places, that's somebody's rent for the whole month. Or you can teach English online as a full-time job or even a career, and teaching gives teaching five hours a day or more. You can make a full-time salary of upwards to $2,000 a month to start, which is not bad money if you're living in another country. Most experienced teachers, especially those who run their own private or group lessons, can charge and earn more, with some making as much as $40 to $50 an hour. Bear in mind that it takes time for teachers to build a base of private students. But the payoff is that there isn't a school taking a big chunk of student payments. Okay, so 
So number six, how do I find my job teaching English online? Most major online teaching companies have links and forms on their websites where you can apply for positions. Many also advertise jobs on major ESL job boards like ESL Authority and Dave's ESL Cafe. There are also online networks and job boards like Facebook. I saw a lot of jobs in Facebook groups where you can market your teaching services as an independent teacher to individual students looking for private lessons. When applying for positions, you'll get more positive responses by tailoring your resume and cover letter specifically for teaching English online. Be sure to emphasize any prior teaching experience, especially in the field of ESL, English as a Second Language, or online teaching experience. And don't forget to highlight your TEFL certification. So, when you're preparing your resume, be prepared to provide the following. Your full name, a photo, gender, that's important in certain countries, highest degree obtained, nationality, main occupation, country you are currently living in, mobile phone number, email address, and Skype ID. In most cases, you should expect to go through not only an interview process, but you will typically be asked to present a live online teaching demonstration or to provide a recorded demo, which is similar to what I'm doing now when you make YouTube videos. Number seven, what are some common online English teaching job interview questions? So like any job interview, it's key to prepare to answer some basic questions about yourself and have questions you want to ask any prospective employer. Here are some basic examples to consider, and you might want to make note of this. Be prepared to provide relevant information and answers to the following questions and queries. Explain all relevant teaching and other professional experience that has prepared you to teach English online. What is your educational background? How has it qualified you to teach English online? What, why do you want to teach English online and what are your goals? Why do you see yourself as a good fit for teaching with this company? Questions you may want to ask a prospective employer are, can you set your own hours and how does scheduling work? How do salaries and bonuses work? Are there long-term prospects for growth and professional development? What sort of time commitment are they looking for? Be prepared to teach an online class demo lesson. This is a key part of the interview process for many ESL teaching jobs. Here are some key tips to bear in mind. Set a proper online teaching virtual classroom with an appropriate backdrop and good lighting. Make sure your internet connection is dependable and fast. Many prospective employers will run a test, so make sure that's working. Ask if they will give you a lesson to teach in advance and make every effort to familiarize yourself with the company's online platform. For smaller companies in particular, you may just be teaching over Skype or Zoom. Have any teaching props ready to go and dress like a professional teacher. This is so important. Your appearance is so, so important. Okay, and number eight. What are some reputable companies that hire online English teachers? So now that you know a lot more about teaching English online, it's time to learn more about how to find a job teaching English online and how to size up and compare potential employers. Not all online English teaching jobs are created equal. That's why we've done the research for you and compiled a comprehensive list of over 100 ESL schools that hire online English teachers. Here are some examples of the best online ESL teaching companies that employ TEFL certified instructors to teach English online. Number one, Preply. For their requirements, you do not need a degree. You can set your own rate. You have the opportunity to teach all ages or a one-on-one -on -one class. If you don't have a degree, Preply is a solid option. This company specializes in facilitating one-on-one -on -one tutoring with students all over the world. You can set your own price, clients find you, and you can work with students of all ages. VIP Kids. This is a popular one because they usually, I think they pay the most out of all the ones that I've researched. A degree is required. You can earn between 15 to 22 US dollars per hour. You teach children between the ages of four and 12 and you can offer one-on-one -on -one classes. VIP Kid provides an international learning experiences to children in China between the ages of four to 12. 
located in Beijing and San Francisco with teachers all over the United States and Canada. The company offers fully immersive one-on-one -on -one English language instruction provided online by highly qualified teachers. The curriculum usually the curriculum uses a flipped classroom approach to foster creativity and creative thinking skills. Another school, Wales English, a degree is required. You can earn between 15 to 22 US dollars per hour. You will teach children between the ages of 4 to 18. And these are offered as group classes between 2 to 10 students. Wells English caters to language learners aged 3 to 18 who have different attainment levels and different learning needs. They aim to provide high quality education for children from all socioeconomic backgrounds to minimize the gap between the privileged and the underprivileged. With a student renewal rate of over 83% throughout all courses, they've also been recognized as one of the most sought after online ESL programs. Okay, so that's just a few examples of online companies. So how to teach English online from home. So here are some steps to get started. Number one, enroll in a TFL certification course. And I would highly recommend you enroll in a reputable TEFL certification course because there's a lot of courses out there that are not reputable and um, some companies may not accept it. So I would say do your due diligence, do your research, just don't go with any old company. Number two, make sure you have proper technology like strong internet connection, computer, microphone, and webcam. Set up an area of your home to be a virtual classroom that is well lit with a professional background. Research employment opportunities and prepare a resume and a cover letter. Interview for positions. Do not expect full-time offers at first. I think this is like you'd have to prove yourself first. So you would start off part-time and work your way up. Analyze offers and the positions that best suit your needs and goals. And there are some additional resources available on the website if you're interested in teaching English as a second, second language. So, if you're interested in wanting to learn more about teaching English abroad, you can request a free brochure or call the number below. If you're ready to sign up and talk to any advisor, you can look down below in the description box. I have a referral link and you can sign up. An advisor will call you and talk to you about what are your plans for the future, why do you want a, a TEFL certification, and anything else that you need to know about the International TEFL Academy. So if this video helped you, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and use my link if you're interested in teaching English online as a second language.